I was going to go to Pakistan anyway, you know, because our family over there, I have a huge fight base over there. After winning the fight, um, I always go there to Pakistan. And uh, then I heard what happened in Peshawar. Obviously, I went to go there to show my respects, go to the school, and also help rebuild the school again. I mean, innocent children were killed, and, you know, it, it, it shocked the whole world what happened there. So, obviously, me being a British Pakistani, I wanted to go out there and show my respect. Do you understand uh, how Pakistanis could do that? Well, you know what, it's very sad to, I mean, we don't know who exactly did it. I mean, it's very sad with what someone could do. I mean, it's, you know, it, I just cannot believe someone could even think of doing something like that. And over 130 children were killed. And very sad, I mean, everyone in Pakistan are very upset. I mean, around the world, everyone was upset. And they just can't believe someone could even do anything like that, yeah. But we've seen other events, uh, the attack on Malala, of course, the uh, um, other uh, terror attacks uh, within Pakistan and, and, and Afghanistan. Why is it, do you think, that this, this is happening? Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why it happened. I think, you know, the people who did it, I mean, we don't know who they are just yet, but I mean, they, they, they really need, I mean, the people who are involved in this really need to be punished. Um, innocent kids didn't do anything to anyone. I mean, they were just going to school. I've got a little girl myself who, you know, who, who's, only, who's only seven months old, but imagine me, I'm sending her to school and then finding this, finding out that, you know, she was killed in school. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. I mean, I cannot just believe what their parents are going to be going through. They must be really in a lot of pain. But, I mean, whoever did it, you know, it should be punished. And I think it's just really bad. It's putting Pakistan very backwards. Back and also it's just scaring a lot of kids to go back to school. I mean, and, and the, you know, the kids of the future. And um, it's just messing things up for them. People often say who carry out these attacks or who support them that uh, the attackers are acting in the name of religion somehow. Well, you know, be, me being a Muslim myself, I mean, it never says that, you know, in the Quran it never says you kill innocent people. So, like I said, we don't know exactly who did it. I mean, that's something that, you know, I think should com be coming out very soon. Uh, when I was there in the Pakistan, I was speaking to the army staff, Raheel Sharif, and he did say that, you know, they're getting very close to finding out who um, plotted this thing and who, 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 who was behind it all. But the thing is, I mean, look, in the Quran, being a Muslim, it doesn't teach you to go and kill innocent people. I mean, how do you feel when, for example, those men who kill people uh, in Paris uh, say they've avenged the Prophet? I mean, it's very sickening, first of all, I mean, killing innocent people. Again, in Paris, you know, innocent people were killed. And I think it's just wrong. You know, I condemn them and I think it's just um, very sad to hear stuff like this is happening. I mean, can, is it right to take offence at depicting the Prophet, uh, let alone depicting the Prophet uh, satirically? Well, I think disrespecting is, is, is one thing, you know, I think it's wrong what things are being done. I mean, you know, what, what I've been said. I mean, look, it's just, um, I think people just need to sit down and relax. We don't need all this drama and we don't need all the killings and shootings and stuff. I'm sure it can be solved in different ways. But what people are doing, I think they're doing it in the wrong way, taking it in the wrong manner. But there is always this question of, of the extent to which in a Western society you're, you're British born, uh, you should uh, bend over to respect what other people say is their religious observance, isn't there? Well, definitely, I think in every religion, you know, what my parents taught me when I was a young child, you know, was to respect everyone and don't matter what religion they're in, what colour they are, it's all about respecting each other and obviously that's what I'm going to be teaching my little girl, Lamaisa, as well, you know, to respect everyone and respect every religion. So, but I think that's the way to move forward. Everyone should be getting on with each other and respecting each other. That way, I don't think we'll, have, we'll be having any problems. But if you say respecting me means not doing something or stopping someone else doing something, that's where the problem starts, isn't it? I mean, that's exactly that's where the problem starts, is when, when, when you know, you're, you're saying something to someone and they, they, they do something different. I mean, I think they just need people to send this message across to them. They need role models to follow and people to look up to. I think that way they're going to you know, go the right way and follow the right path. How do you think... Uh, we in the West, and obviously France is on people's minds at the moment, but, but what do we need to do to, to put an end to this, to stop these sort of dreadful attacks happening? I think to put a stop to something like this, I think we need the world leaders to sit down together and, you know, we need them to talk through all this and, you know, like I said, to improve security as well. And whoever 
in, in our eyes we think are, are doing bad things and, 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 and killing innocent people, I think we should definitely put a stop to them and you know, I mean I think this is all about sitting together and communicating, I think it's, that, that's what it is, the lack of communication isn't there and I think that's why there's so many people that were suffering because of that reason. And you obviously feel that people such as yourself, uh, world class sportsmen, do have a, a responsibility as role models? Yes, you know, me being a world class boxer, I think, gives me a little bit of responsibility also being a British and a Pakistani. So, you know, with me saying something, I think it might go a long way. I have a lot of young kids who follow me, who look up to me. I'm like a role model to a lot of people. So, you know, me saying things, I think need more people like myself, you know, to send the right messages around the world.